Hello everyone. We'll continue that topic. And you can see, we started with a blank program initially. And now you can see how the pool of the program is increasing. And this is the definition of module pool program. It is a pool of modules. Those modules can be your includes, can be your transaction code, can be your screens. And you can see we have two PBO module of screen 100 and 200. We have two PAI module, one of screen 100, one of screen 200. We have two screens 100, 200. We created two GUI status, one for headers, one for item. We created two GUI title, one for screen 100, one for screen 200. And we created two includes in which we, in the one include, we have the PBO logic of all the screens. In another include, we have the PAI logic of all the screens. And you can see how big our program is. Now, you can see we have so many components now in the program. We have to activate all these things. What is one way? You can go to display mode. You can right click on the program and activate it together so that all of the components activate it together. This is one way. Or you can partially or you can go to individual part and you can activate also. Suppose I will go to header. Suppose suppose I'll go to any. Suppose I'll go to this include and I'm pressing enter. Suppose. Now, suppose if I want to activate this include, I can individually right click and activate. But remember, whenever you will run your whole application, please check your each and every part should be active. Now, we will go for most important part now. We need to run the module pool program now. Most, most important part, a module pool program can never, never run independently. You cannot run a module pool program independently. You always require a transaction code to run a module pool program. It means transaction code is compulsory to run a module pool program. And this is the difference between an executable program and a module pool program also. Executable program, you can run independently, but a module pool program, you can never, never run independently. It always requires a transaction code. So we will create a transaction code for this module pool program. It's your wish now. You can create a transaction code through SC93 also, or you can simply right click here and you can create from here also. Because ultimately it will navigate to SC93. I will right click on the program, create, transaction. I will give some name to that transaction code. Suppose first transaction code, I'll say module pool program. Suppose order details transaction code. Now, 
module pool is called as dialog programming. So we will choose the first radio button. I will pass the program for which program we are creating a transaction code. Now I will go to F4 help. And you can see two screens are automatically appearing. Whatever the screen you will choose, that will appear first whenever you are running the program. I will choose 100 screen. I will select these three checkboxes. As of now, SAP GUI for Windows is applicable, but still I will select all the three checkboxes. And I will save this. And you can see now one more module increased that is of transaction code. Now it's your wish how you want to run this program, module pool program. You can right click on the program. You can execute directly. If you will go for direct, then if you want to open the program again, you have to come back. Suppose if I'm going for direct processing, you can see our particular SC80 or SC38 is not there. If I want to see the program again, I again have to go to SC38 or SC80. And then I can check again. But if you will choose the option run in a new window, execute in a new window so that your output will be in a new window, but code session will be as it is. So if some changes are required, you can see parallelly in the code. Now this is your transaction code. So you can run like this also slash n z t c one underscore 28. You can go like this or you can go like this also slash o z t c one underscore 28. It's your wish how you want to check the output because ultimately a module pool program can never, never run without a transaction code. It always requires a transaction code. Now, we will understand the flow because rather than directly displaying the output, we should understand thoroughly in the system how our output and how our various events are calling. So for the best understanding, I will put a breakpoint in the process before output of screen 100, process after input of screen 100, process before output of screen 200, process after input of screen 200. This is the best way to learn the flow of the events. Whenever I will run my program, my 100 screen PBO will call first. 100 screen process before output will call first. And you can see I automatically stopped on the 100 screen process before output. So this logic will trigger, it will create a button in the application toolbar of screen 100 and execute. And you can see everything appeared. We gave that title header details. We choose this symbol. We gave the information text. We gave a shortcut shift plus F1. 
everything appear whenever i will click on to this button my 100 screen pai will call because i am performing a action on the 100 screen and you can see i am on 19 i am on 10 number line my pai of 100 screen is calling what the logic i have written in pai of 100 call screen 200 in pai of 100 i have written a logic to call screen 200 it means whenever it will call the screen 200 how screen 200 will appear it means before displaying screen 200 200 pbo will also call you can see how the navigation is 100 screen pai called in 100 screen pai you are calling the screen 200 it means to display the screen 200 pbo of 200 will also call first if i am going for execute you can see pbo of 200 also called after that and this is my screen 200 everything is there item details my icon shift plus f2 is the shortcut whenever i will click on to this button 200 screen pai will call and you can see 200 screen pai call in 200 screen pai you are calling the screen 100 it means to display the screen 100 100 screen pbo will also call if i am going for execute this is my 100 screen pbo and this is my output and you can see events always always is playing a vital role in the module pool programming and this is the first basic example we achieved how we can do the navigation between the screens that's it in this video thank you